Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Rambling Through Everyday Life with Fran and Angela. My name is Fran and I am one of the co-hosts for this podcast. As always, thank you so much for listening. We, of course, hope that you enjoy the conversation. This week, we start off strong, talking about all things discipleship, leadership, the things that really matter to us, and then we're going to transition into more of the ridiculous. You all know that's what we do best. All right, everybody. Thanks for listening. Have a great day. Enjoy the show. Okay. Hi, everybody. Welcome to the show. Good morning, Angela. It's still morning as we record this. It is a beautiful fall morning. Show is. The sun is shining. Yep. The leaves are beautiful. Yep. They're falling in yep. fallish way. <laughs> it's fall. It's, it's fall, fall, y'all. Y'all. <laughs> I went to um it's senior weekend for volleyball. Yes, it you is. You and I are a little bit in our fields over our girls. Um, but I went to pick up the centerpieces and when I walked in, a winter wonderland had exploded in I the know. forest. Pick pick what do you want? Do you want Thanksgiving or Christmas? Uh, y'all. Or both. You know, I Fran and I for years have had differing opinions about that, but I've given myself grace to inch up closer to Thanksgiving when I celebrate Christmas. And last year, my tree made it up a few days before Thanksgiving. And, you know, whatever brings you joy, it makes you happy when the tree's up. My tree is not up yet, but when I walked in um, and saw all these things, I left with a few of them. Yeah, listen, as you should, we decorated our office a couple of days ago, one day this past week. And is everybody happier? Oh, gosh, yes. And they walk in and they're yes. happy. And at college, you leave yeah. way before Christmas, right. so you have to decorate earlier. Yeah. So let that just inspire us all. Mm-hmm. College or not, just go ahead and do it. Just go for it. Our tiny house is completely decorated. Your tree is cute. And yeah, Merry Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> Merry Christmas from the family. Next week's episode is fun. Yes. Um. Well, no, no, no. We take a break. We're going to take a week off for Thanksgiving. Yes. And then, and then the next episode, the very first of December, we're going to dive in to all things Christmas with a super fun local guest. Y'all will. That's love never her. been on the show before. She has not. Yeah, She's listened for years and yeah. has never been on. Yeah. Um. And and yeah, we'll have all kinds of ideas and things to share. And yeah. Tis the season. My goodness. La 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 la. We la. um. I'm looking at this outline of all the things because last week... I don't even remember what we talked about last week. Well, we started and ended with a crazy story. Oh, yeah. And mm -hmm. listen, I was walking down the hallway after um, on campus. I was leaving chapel and Sydney Whitaker and I were walking down the hallway with Dr. Dub. And oh, I need to tell you this, that um, that he was talking to Sydney about FCA because... Um, word has gotten out about what has happened. Can we talk about that? Just for just a a teeny tiny second. um, Last Sunday night, so a week ago, our Sunday night huddle, it was a worship night, which is what we do. Like we do that regularly, like at the, there's one per semester. And so the worship band, I guess I'm going to call them the worship band. They are so phenomenal. I'm going to say there's, six or seven of them and these are athletes these are all athletes who are also musicians and they're just different teams are represented guys and girls it's so fun um they lead worship and then two students were sharing their testimony so it's you know sing a couple of songs jack shackleford from men's basketball he shared his testimony sang a couple of songs um a sweet girl named cammy from cross country she she shared her testimony sang some more songs well at the end riley garrison from our men's cross-country team he's from florida just a phenomenal young man he said well this concludes our worship night but if you want to stay we are going to stay and so that concluded at 8 30 and um i received two texts that night at 11 35 ish from two different people and they both said oh my gosh we just left and so 25 student athletes stayed 
um, until 1130. And, and when you consider they have full-time yes. class loads, they are athletes Have to be at practices. workouts at 6 a.m. the next day. They have homework. This yes. is the time in the semester when there's not enough yes. time for anything extra. Yeah. And they're not only giving an hour, they're staying. Yeah. Just phenomenal. And we have been, we have been talking a lot this semester about just the character of God as he has grown and well, I don't even know if grown is the right word. Well, yes, grown, but just developed and strengthened them as leaders doing what it is they're doing within FCA. And so we have talked a lot about just how how faithful and I know that we say that a lot about God and usually I hope not every time because I I say this sometimes too and I'm saying it just very generally and there's not anything wrong with that but we have said just how faithful he has been to speak and lead and guide us but also in that faithfulness he's been extremely gentle and kind and not like feeling this massive urge to create to manufacture something that wasn't there and we were very very mindful of that and and you know in the beginning of something new you can be so super excited and let um kind of the energy and the excitement take over and that's great but that's gonna that's gonna that's gonna die out it, it's gonna give give way to just the normal mundane Every Sunday we have huddle, we have this little fun special event, we do this, we do that. And so for them to be able to see that he is steady, that he is consistent, that he's faithful, that he's kind and gentle as we navigate all this has been really, really beautiful. And so it's just been so genuine. So all that to say, by the time that worship night arrived, there was just a sense of Um, In all of our hearts, just a real sweet sense of this is good. This is if it just stayed just like this, this is so sweet and so good. However, at the same time, you're also feeling there's so much more that the Lord wants to do and so much he wants out of them. And so you just kind of live in that tension of this is wonderful and perfect and beautiful and we could keep it just like this. But also he is um, doing a a work within them as individuals as well as their teams. And so for to be told that that service went three additional hours, I was not surprised at all. I was just extremely grateful, very, very thankful. And so that night they weren't done. They wanted to meet again and they wanted to meet again. And so they met multiple nights just to gather together and to sing some songs, read some scripture and to pray. That is amazing. It's beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. So, um, we had we had gone to chapel yesterday and um and i was sitting next to sydney who is our president of the campuses fca and i was just like sydney our fca band is leading worship in chapel this morning oh wow and so we were just both like oh like proud moms like just look at them we're so proud of them and come to find out um, Sydney had gone to Mark Campbell, our athletic director, because I encouraged her to. I had texted him and said, hey, this is what's going on. This is what's happened. And Sydney met with him on Monday to really um, explain from her perspective as a student what was happening. And then he's come alongside and is offering um, some support that we had been asking for, longing for praying for and so we're very grateful for that in the way that he is going to come alongside us moving forward but also he was like i want you all to have another night of this in the chapel this week coming up 
and just offer it to other students that oh, want wow. to come. And so um, that so is going to happen. Wide. Yeah, campus wide. And again, it's it's you know you can get caught up in what you see happening online at other colleges, and you're like, that's not what we're after. We are just after all the things that I've already said is that if you show up and let's say it's 35 athletes plus one non-athlete, that's great. That's, that's still so, so, so good because the Lord is showing us that he, he is moving so kindly, so gentle, so faithful and consistent that it's, it's so much about him and not about anything other than we want to create this revival no 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 no. we're going to let the lord do what he wants to do in and through us here and so it's just so 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 sweet so anyway i don't even know why i got to tell all that story well but because i interrupted you and we're coming back to don't even know you, what the, well, you and sydney and dr dub but i'm i'm just i don't sitting even here. know what that was about we're, we're going to come back to that <laughs> but i'm just sitting here thinking and we could probably find it in one of our journals but you know, we've talked a lot about planting and seeds and being underground and growth and, and God's timing. We never know. We just have to be faithful in whatever it is. And I'm thinking about the meeting. You know, Sydney was so on fire. She wanted to bring FCA. That, we that's wound what up Dub was office. referencing. Okay. That's what he was referencing when we walked down the hall. And so, like, talking about just her wanting to start this. Her desire. Yeah. Her obedience. Yeah. What does that look like? Yeah. And how God sent. Yeah. You know, you can do this through FCA. Right. Dr. Dub, thank God, is so right. accessible and just so right. ready to come behind whatever he knows God's put on these students' hearts. Right. Well, and Sydney now knows, like, she was, she thought about leaving Union, transferring out, and she did. She went to the transfer portal for a short time. But she said to me this past week, we sat across from one another in our coffee shop on Monday and I literally just like cried for the 40 minutes that we were sitting there talking and she looked at me and she said you know I know that I it looks as if I was to come back to union for volleyball but I I know it's so much more than volleyball and I said Sydney I will say it all day long you've heard me say this all day long it is so much more than a sport. Mm-hmm. The opportunity that you've been given on a team, it's so much more than the game itself from a coaching perspective, from a player perspective, from a support system perspective. It's so much more than a game. And once you begin to see that and realize that and experience that, and it's true of anything, it's true of your work, it's true of your family, it's true of anything. But once you begin to recognize that for what it is then everything changes it's like oh okay my perspective changes my view changes my Mm -hmm. thoughts change how I go say do everything begins to change and it's less about well we've got to do this and we've got to do this and we've got to do this yeah you need to do those things as the athlete you need to do those things as the coach you need to do those things as support people but it's so much more than what you see at the surface level so anyway it's been a fantastic week the discipline that's required in athletics and then when they can use that to translate that into this is how i can be disciplined spiritually it all is a teachable moment that carries over yeah yeah and we just don't want to miss what god's doing no because you do you just get so caught up in Mm -hmm. the day-to-day things again that you need to do but you can just miss what's happening right in front of you or you're just you can as an athlete you can talk your or any person you can talk yourself out of being obedient because your schedule your calendar Mm -hmm. says differently well i love that and we've talked so much about it on here but but your journey and your different roles at union remind me what your job officially is now i'm over um women's discipleship on campus yes i mean what really like thank you god like (laughs) the perfect job for fran well it's just doing these things so your career it's just so sweet to be able to pour into to give and to guide 
students, regardless of where they are and what's going on in their life. Um, that's not cookie cutter by any means. Some of it is, but a lot of it's not. Most of it's not. Well, and there's so much hope for us looking back at this college generation because they want authentic. They want God. They want to be in their Bibles. Like there is so much that we're learning from them. And, and I don't know how much of this you, you want to get into or not, but you've had a packed week of discipleship on this campus. Couldn't tell and you what I've done. I, <laughs> I'm just like, Every wait, day what did I do? it was like, Fran's leaving at 530 in the morning to go do something with girls that want to be in their Bibles and pursue Christ. And I mean, there's just so many ways. Does anything come to mind from the past week that you've had? And if it doesn't, that's fine. I'm putting her on the spot and Fran should be asleep right now and no. not even out in public. But, you, I mean, you literally from Monday morning up until, I don't know, now. Sunday night, Monday night, and Tuesday night were really long days. Um, Sunday night was FCA, and that was huddle. Uh, Monday night. Monday morning. Oh, Monday morning, we have bridges for women, which is, is these students, These this is for females. They're showing up at 630 in the morning. On a Monday. On a Monday um, to be encouraged by another female. And um, this past week, it was another female on campus, Veronica Perry. Um, and it was, it, I wish I had my notes with me, but she was talking, she, I don't even want to try to say because I'll get it all wrong. But um, Kim Jehoshaphat. Yeah, that's right. Yes. She's, we don't know what to do, she, Lord, but our eyes are on yes. you. Second Chronicles 20. Second Chronicles 20. She talked a lot about that. And we were talking about it in the context of fear. Mm. You know, like let, we we named out loud things that we were afraid of. Wow. That these girls are afraid of currently. Did it surprise you the things they shared or was it no. just? No, it never does. It never does. Again, if you don't have an opportunity well, you know what? Use your own kids, you know, just asking them, what are you afraid of right now? Um, it, it They're not going to just walk up and tell you that, mm -hmm. you know, you've got to ask. Um, but anyway, then we also had leadership union this week on Tuesday night, and that was really good. Um, Dr. Brian Carrier from Union, our dean of students, spoke, and he talked a lot about values and um, it's helpful for these students because they are creating their own leadership definition and part of that process is what qualities characteristics traits adjectives and in Brian's case values are important to you because that is what you've got to pour into your definition because it's not it's important for how you lead and how you what you consider valuable what you consider this matters to me as I move forward and making a meaningful difference in people's lives because if you're doing it willy-nilly and just kind of accidentally it's not going to have the intention it's not going to have the focus you won't accomplish what you want to accomplish you'll just kind of be here there and everywhere and that's sustainable for a little bit but if you really want to lead well, you've got to have a leadership definition. And so Brian was talking to them about how his family established values. Oh, wow. And um, because and, I've always loved this definition part of it. Yeah. Since I've just spent what little time I have around it, because I, I don't know that no anybody and no. I'm a business right. management nobody major. teaches you this. Nobody ever said, no. what do you think leadership is? Right. It was just something that you yeah. jump in and do. And yeah. Hope it's, hope you figure it hope out. You're doing it right. Yeah, and so I just have you know I when we created Leadership Union for Students five years ago, it was so revolutionary for me because I went through this same type thing as a staff member on campus and immediately said, "Why are we not teaching our students this?" And so now to be in an office that is titled Student Discipleship and Engagement that part of what we embody is leadership development i'm like oh this is my sweet spot it's give like this, christmas for friends yeah every give day. this to me all day long but what's also incredible is as you explore new jobs as you are interviewing regardless if you're fresh out of college or however old you are I can't tell you how many graduates have come back to me to talk to me about their interview process. And I'm like, don't forget to ask your potential supervisor, what's your leadership style? Wow. Because if they can't answer that question well, then you're going to you're going to get it. 
you're going to you're going to be the one that has to deal with their lack of and you don't if, if you can still choose to step into it, but you're going to know what you're getting. I would be so impressed and also a little freaked out if any potential employee of mine asked me that question. Well, I'm telling you, that's why we do a whole a whole year on it is because it matters because you know what it's like to sit under excellent leadership Mm -hmm. and you know what it's like to sit under crummy leadership and a lot of people just kind of sit in that kind of average like they're doing okay but as a believer i'm like no i'm not i'm not gonna settle for okay i want to learn and grow and be challenged so that i can disciple lead and be more effective um, in a more intentional not accidental haphazard kind of way so we also get to have in january we will have our office will host a leadership summit for students and it's a friday night and saturday um and i'm super excited about that because it's just it's just another opportunity to pour into these students I've never heard. Is this a common thing to have on college campuses? I have campuses? no idea. <laughs> I wonder. I just, it, I'm so amazed Maybe. Maybe always. we're revolutionary. I think it's just union and union's the best. That's Maybe. what I think. I don't know. Well, it's a fabulous thing. Yeah. It well, is. I'm back it about is. how God put you in this place. So it's not just, I'm on campus and also I'm doing, you were right. already doing these things. Right. Yeah. And that's what makes this season of work so good is because I can look back and see how the Lord was preparing me for now. Mm-hmm. And that that's true of anybody's mm-hmm. life. Like if you're sitting in a place, good or bad, you know, whether you're content or you're like a little more restless and anxious for what's ahead. Well, it's a it's never too late to look back and reflect on what am I passionate about? What have I been doing? Maybe that's just kind of off to the side and not a part of my work. But maybe those two worlds can merge within mm-hmm. your work world or maybe they are separate. But you have an opportunity to grow in this other way outside of your you know your occupation but i don't know i think that we're all called to 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 grow and to be better than we were the year before well you taught me to pray the prayer of big fun surprises Mm. we need to bring that back are you still praying that i haven't prayed that lately no but i'm always asking the lord like sydney started saying um well these are new words but um I'm just always asking the Lord for an abundance to do more. Sydney was saying this week, you know, greater things are are yet to come. Greater things are yet to be seen. And then that turned into a whole interesting conversation of does what does greater mean? Because sometimes greater is just like internal Mm -hmm. and it's just personal to you. It's not an external thing that you can like put a number to. For me, it's smaller and quieter in my big chaotic world. Right. And so I don't know. I'm just I want the Lord to do whatever he's he wants to do. And goodness gracious, just help us really ultimately to be obedient because I think we can see it and know it, but we just choose not to because it doesn't fit in Mm -hmm. our calendar and what I want to do. And he's like, well, you're either going to trust me with this or not. So, oh, it's so hard. Control. Mm -hmm. That gets Mm -hmm. right back to control. Yeah. But, you know, we talk about Ephesians 3.20 and God is able to do so much more than our little brains could even conjure up or dream or imagine. And then on the flip side of that, it's like, well, but. Right. (laughs) And then here's all my list of schedules and excuses. And this recenters me. Yeah. And reminds me, why would God not do what he did? Well, he didn't leave us on this earth for it to be. You know, it should be exciting. It should be adventurous. It should be a challenge. It should require some some difficulty. It should. I just don't think that, you know, if I'm I'm, praise God, I've made it to 54 years of age. If I live another 20 years, I hope that at the end of my lifetime, I can say, oh, my gosh, that was so fun. That was so worth it. It was so crazy. It was so ridiculous. It was so wild. (laughs) But, you know, you don't want to get to the end of your life and be like, well, that was it. Well, that was just all (laughs) silly. That was it. No, that was all all this was. Now what? Yeah. Yeah. No, 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 no. Uh, 
Well, okay, I'm looking at my outline, kind of laughing inside, because I'm like, well, we're not talking about any of the things I had written, and I don't <laughs> okay, want to. What do we want to talk about? No, Give us something ridiculous. I don't know that I want to. Well, I did see, um, well, this is kind of funny, because I've got this in my notes as a thing I might try to do, but I'm the Pinterest fail person. Oh, my God. Let's keep that in mind. I don't know what to do with mm-hmm, Pinterest. Mm-hmm. But there was, okay, so there was a lady, and now I'm trying to remember exactly, gosh, I wish I had this video to pull up and look at it. She made a mini pie bar. So think what? about dessert pies. Okay. And you get those little bitty, mm-hmm. like the individual mm-hmm. graham cracker yeah, shells. Yeah, they serve them in, in our cafeteria sometimes. I know exactly what you're talking okay. about. Okay. Well, I'm always trying to figure out because our family has, you know, when everybody's home, they're <laughs> in and out. And it's, Angela, are you about to say that you would like to make different pies? Well, individual. Not me make them. Oh. <laughs> think about a salad bar, but better. Okay. Pie ingredients oh you're making your own (gasps) oh because i will say this and he (laughs) never listens and and nobody will tell him and it's it doesn't really matter anyway but but cole got so excited last year (laughs) when somebody brought me as a gift at work all these little toppings and things for hot chocolate and we had all the little containers of the you know the different christmas colored sprinkles and the little marshmallows and Uh he was like peppermint all the things we should and they were y'all they were the the tiniest little plastic bottles that i was just throwing away when they were empty and he was like mom but we should keep mm -hmm, these mm -hmm, and make this a thing mm -hmm. and i was like this man child this you know it's so hard to impress Mm -hmm. them when they're impressed i'm Mm -hmm. like let's impress them again Mm -hmm. and why was that impressive you know, right? You know, because it was just so random. Yeah. Then on the other hand, you've got me buying the fondue thing that Angie right. Atwood said we all need, and I don't doubt it. But it never made it out of the box. Oh. And when it got home, I thought I don't want drippy cheese all over my no. house. It's chaotic enough already. Yeah. So I never know, which is why you put me on probation. Mm. I never know when I need to buy things or not. I've not bought any of these things yet, but I think I it makes sense. I need to see this concept. Okay. So she had. I'm trying to remember what all the fillings were. She had. Oh, let's she back took, up a minute. Did yes. you find this on Pinterest? No, it was like a real oh um, okay yeah okay and now my my news feed on facebook is full of recipes i'm like yeah, i'm not no, that person no no if it's easy and i can dump it from the can to the pan we're good right but yeah so she had like pudding um was one of the ba- i'm trying to remember what the base was and then she had different toppings like you could do um there was a cheesecake mm-hmm. base um pudding and something else. But then she had like whipped cream and that sounds crushed kind of fun. pecans and yeah. different ways to make your own little your own little dessert. dessert. Yeah. I will try to find that and we'll put it in stories because it was so That'd cute. That'd be fun to I have it, it like a little party. Yeah. And again, <laughs> let me also just say, because we're going to host how many parties, Fran? <laughs> I ain't having no party, y'all. I especially am not having a party. This in my is teeny- my party. Yeah. My party is my kids are home. <laughs> my party is just to talk about it. Um, like I'm not going to have the party in my oh, tiny my home goodness. for sure. But yeah, but it would be lovely. Like yeah. just like think about your little hot chocolate station with all those fun little yes, toppings. Stations. Uh-huh, and then your cute little pie Station. I, I just feel like stations <laughs> seem like I really went all out, but I really just dump some ingredients in different containers in a bowl, and, and you have to fix it in a glass clear <laughs> bowl that looks fancy and it's <sighs> not. I did order the little snack baskets with the liners, and oh, my family man. is mm. they're intrigued and all, they always just kind of roll their eyes and laugh. They but may the, end up using that on the daily. We used them for cheeseburgers. Yep. We used them for pizza. Yep. We have and y'all, I did not have to wash dishes. I yep. threw the paper just away the and. Re- uh, where did you the get the liner from? Amazon. Okay. And they, I got the red baskets with the red and white checkered <laughs> liner paper. And I have got, time. I've got myself a diner. <laughs> I've got myself the pizza bag still. We can yep. deliver yep. <laughs> and pull out yep. our own baskets. Yep. I, think I don't it's know awesome. what I'm becoming. I'm going to need yeah, I think a new pantry awesome. just for all my side hustle. It's incredible. <laughs> stuff. Absolutely incredible. Okay. So last week, you know, we, we had so much to share that it felt like this is like part two of that. because We did. I don't even know. We talked Praise about. Praise God you keep notes because I'm like, I have no recollection. Well, we never got into our quote spiritual segment last oh, week. We've already had our spiritual segment. We have, this. but I promised and, and somebody listening <laughs> sent me a message. They're like, I can't wait to hear you tell off on yourself. That's always oh, so funny. Yeah. Okay. Because I, I can't. You know, I can't yeah. not do what I said I would yeah. do, which is tell off on myself yeah. because I got such a, a spanking <laughs> over. And and I think I said on the last um, episode, like, I, I love Jesus. I do. 
<laughs> but I don't like being a follower of Christ some days. Yeah, right. Especially when I get smacked in the face. You know, yeah. it, it's so great when you read something and immediately <laughs> you're like. It's great to grow until you have to grow. Until you have to grow. <laughs> it's great to read a scripture. And uh, what we're not supposed to do is what yeah. I tend to do and go, well, he sure needs to hear this. Yeah. Well, I can't. I should text her this first and straighten her out because she sure needs it. Oh, my gosh. Um, y'all, it, hey, oh, if our, we could mm. only hear the commentary coming out of Jesus himself, can you imagine? He's like, okay, I just keep going back to he chose likely teenage boys who mm-hmm. were fishermen yeah. and you know, he, he can handle us, mm-hmm. he loves some ragamuffins, mm-hmm. so he mm-hmm. clearly that makes me think we are just yeah, darling right. and precious and endearing <laughs> to him. Yeah, <laughs> we're his kind of people, <laughs> we're his kind of people, he knows we all what's are going the on. favorite. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so anyway, it was one of those days where it was. Was like I love to be um, a Jesus girl, but I don't want to practice these ways that yeah. you're giving me. So I had to, you know, it, it's um, and this was my fault. So I'm not even going to like throw my husband under the bus. But but I later realized what I thought was my husband's problem was my own. <laughs> And that's the worst. Well, but you have to wonder, like, is that true most of the time? Let's Ugh. just not even like, don't, don't I bet it's Zoom true. out. It's probably everything. I bet, it, I bet it is. If I really was. We need to start thinking about that and paying attention. Yes. If I really was full to the brim with the love of Christ before I ever said a word to people, mm-hmm. they probably would not get on my nerves so much. Right. Right. But whatever it was this day, um, I don't even know anymore. It doesn't matter because I got right over it. So I was like, oh, I'm the problem. It's me. Yeah, <laughs> it's OK. Cue Taylor Swift music. I was on a walk and I can remember walking halfway around the pond, stewing over something and on the other halfway around the pond going, oh, dang. No. Oh, <laughs> Apparently, okay. I have the problem. You know, it was one of those like I don't need, and, and I jotted down, didn't get my needs met over something. And I don't even know what it was. And it doesn't yeah. matter now. Right. I mean, it's been two weeks and I'm over it. But the whole idea of, you know, when you're interacting with somebody and you don't even you don't like what's being said or you don't like. I don't know what fill in the blank, but it, it, it's hard to forgive, much less be proactively kind mm-hmm. and helpful in that situation when you're just bristled up, like yeah. you've been offended in some kind of way. Well, think about, you know how much we've talked about, not that Carl is this, but <laughs> at all, our sandpaper people. Oh my gosh, that's hilarious. I was his. But, I was okay, the sandpaper. But yeah, it can definitely happen. Because he got, he said something that I took offense to. And by the time I walked around the other side of the lake, I was like, he was right to say what he said to me. Well, that was my next question. If we began to ask ourselves like, well, what's my role in this? Yes, it it is. It Do is. Do you think we could honestly say, I don't have a role in this? I maybe think, well, occasionally. And I maybe. think it's interesting because we've been together 30 years and we are so opposite. And like, he will just call it like it is. And I'm just like, oh, it's fine. Everything's wonderful. And, and where we butt heads is like the the complimentary version like the yeah. the thing that i need that i like i right. get from him and vice versa right but the this is what was so funny so i was just all like my prayer halfway around the pond originally was just meh, 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 god, Strike him and, dead. and god you Take just need to blah 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 blah, blah. <laughs> and then almost immediately mm. i'm like oh Hold on. What was the verse? I was no, I was listening to the Bible app. That's what it was. I was like, I'm just going to go to the Lord in scripture and figure all this out. And y'all, this was the verse. (laughs) This was the verse. Colossians 3.12. Oh, (laughs) oh, oh, listen. Yes. Colossians 3.12. Well, where is it? Hang on. I'm going to have to look it up. real quick. Don't have it memorized. (laughs) Well, I've I've got my takeaway from it. And I was looking at that going, I need to remind myself of that again. Colossians 3.12. Put on then mm. as God's chosen ones, Mm. holy and beloved. All those things. Compassionate Mm -hmm. hearts. Mm -hmm. Had I put my compassionate heart on at that point in the day? No. No. Here's my angry heart. (laughs) Kindness. It's like, what is that? Like Mr. Potato Head now? Color forms. When you put the... (laughs) We're throwing it back to the 80s. Y'all remember color forms? I'm going to put my plastic dress yeah. on yeah. for my compassionate hearts, mm. kindness. How many times do you and I say kind words are like honey? Listen, you left that at home. Am but I going to apply that in we my all house? Do. We all do. Humility, nah. meekness, <laughs> and patience. Oh, it gets better. Thanks, I'm Lord. for nine. Here's the next verse. Bearing with one another. <laughs> And if one has a complaint against another, oh dang, forgiving each oh, other, no, as the Lord has forgiven you, so you must also forgive. Mm-hmm. 
Isn't that and, just so lovely, though? Oh, and, it, you know, I wanted to stop reading and just listen to an audio book at that yeah, point. Right. I was like, I'm, I don't want to do this, God. Can yeah, I just yeah. check out? And above all these, put on love, which binds everything together in perfect harmony. And let the peace of Christ yeah. rule in your hearts. Y'all, oh, my gosh. So so that's where I was that day. And I was like, OK. So what did you do? Did you did you have to say anything to Carl? Did it require yes. an apology? Yes. But it y'all, did. by the time. OK, so half the lap, I'm angry. I come back around and I'm spanked by the Lord and I walk two more laps. So then I'm walking a lap and I'm like, OK, how am I going to like <laughs> apologize just enough to where it counts with all three <laughs> of us, me, God and Carl. But I'm not like but not really <laughs> super grovelly. And then by the time I got in the house my flesh had gotten a little wild again and I was just like I read this verse that told me I'm supposed to apologize to you you know I I was bratty yeah I was more like bratty than lovey in the way I was trying to approach him because I was like I wanted to come in here and tell you off but instead God says I need to I I can be five years old spiritually we all can but yes so anyway the um that you version Bible app was spot on for me that day but it said it gave practical advice that might be helpful and clearly i need to read it again but it was like so how do we do this one way to get started is thinking of the struggles that keep us from looking and living like jesus and then start to replace them with the opposite action (laughs) so if your communication i'm guilty of all these if your communication leans sarcastic and cutting choose to say a kind word instead (laughs) if you tend to come across as harsh Choose something that requires gentleness. If you're choosing a grudge, choose instead forgiveness. But it, it's just talking about how as we go on in our life, take part in activities that build us up spiritually, connect with friends that hold us accountable, learn scripture. I mean, goodness gracious, if we don't know scripture, we're never going to act the way we're supposed no, to act. Right. It was hard enough for me. And I'd been in the Bible before, during and after, and right. I still didn't want to do. Yeah. I did. And now I'm over it, but I had to work through it. Yeah. But, oh, my goodness. It's so good. I know. So we just, our flesh has to die daily. And then this morning, uh, um, I brought my journal because I wrote this down. Um, and I think I shared it on my story yesterday. But it says, if you plant watermelon, don't expect corn to grow. Yeah. If you fill your mind with gossip, unedifying music, and junk all day, do not expect fruit of the Spirit yeah. to grow. Oh, right. Well, something's going to grow, but it ain't what you want it yeah. to grow. It won't be. Yeah. It won't look like the Lord. The things of this world. Yeah. Remember how this will conclude with this. Um, I don't. I stole this from somebody. Somebody posted it or I read it or listened to it. I have no idea that there's a difference in there's only one letter difference between the word and the world. Oh, that's good. And it's the letter L that's and it's liar Ugh. for Satan. There's a only liar. one 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 big difference well and even before thinking what the letter is just knowing i'm this close yeah like i'm this close just yeah. one little letter away from yeah from being on or off and that's how we got to, all through scripture it says remember remember yeah. remember yeah. remember 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 <laughs> oh, because we, we forget, forget. <laughs> and if we're not renewing our minds every single day mm-hmm. all throughout the day mm-hmm. our natural bent is not to live like christ yeah. our natural bent is to act like a fool yeah and i have got to i'm we preaching don't to myself fools in the world we don't no we don't need to be jerks for jesus no. <laughs> we need to love each other <laughs> so uh Okay, anyway. so this episode releases before Thanksgiving. It does. So next week is Thanksgiving, and we'll then we're going to kick off all the Christmas things. I so, know. so what I want the listeners this this is where we need to hear from you. In addition to anything you want us to know, do you have any hacks for when your people are home, your yeah. house is chaotic, you're wanting to feed them well, have some festive little fun? Do you do a special kind of right. anything, something easy? Hey, listen, we're not into you, we're this, not fancy Martha Stewart no, people. Over we here. ain't Martha Stewart over here. We mm-hmm. need all the hacks, mm-hmm. rigs, tricks, and whatever. Mm-hmm. We're here for that. We're here for that. <laughs> <laughs> Help us. What's the opposite of Martha Stewart? Um, Fran and Angela. <laughs> That is us. Yep. Maybe that's what we're supposed to oh, maybe Crash. that's what we're supposed to do is create our own line. Okay. What and would it look like? It'd be the polar opposite be, of all mm-hmm. it'd be all these things we've talked about, hacks, tricks, and rigs. Uh-huh. We we need the we need to market our own plastic baskets with yes. paper liners. Yes. Mm-hmm. 
Maybe that's what, maybe that's, maybe that's our next calling in life. Yeah. Hey, next time we come back, Angela, make yourself a note. Okay. Make yourself some kind of note. note. Mm-hmm. I want to give the listeners a, um, an update on the book that has been, yes. that is being written and illustrated you know, on behalf of rambling through everyday life December, with the story. So December it, podcast. it really won't fit into Christmas things, but I, it'll, I think it's worthy of a, few minute update i think that's fabulous okay all right well happy thanksgiving everyone enjoy the gobble gobble turkey turkey eat them up season watch the veggie tales a thankful heart is a happy heart a thankful heart is a happy heart and charlie brown's thanksgiving no it's just did uh, i tell you what we're doing hang on we're not done yet (laughs) i know one more thing because this is funny so uh kaylee obviously is in college and was not here for halloween we all had different costumes i told you about carl's costume and anyway i decided the tuesday of thanksgiving week we are having a party at my house you have to wear a costume you are having a party you just sat here and said you weren't it's just my family but i mean i'm yeah yeah nobody else is invited okay you you have to wear a costume like a halloween costume Mm -hmm. because we missed all that we don't do that together are you gonna this is what you should do you should eat thanksgiving in your halloween costume that would be funny okay well what were were, you have to wear a costume and i have to work that day so i thought it's got to be like pizza i was we were gonna make our own pizzas and i was like no absolutely not before we're we're just gonna pick them up okay so we're gonna pick up pizza wear a costume and i said cole help me like (laughs) what would be super fun when we're all together because that's the day Kaylee comes home. And he said, we should watch Charlie Brown Thanksgiving. Precious. And I was not expecting that to yeah. come from his mouth. And then we're also having a Nerf gun war. But stay this tuned. This is awesome. So that's our new Thanksgiving tradition. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. We'll see how it goes. We want photos, everyone. Mm-hmm. It didn't mm-hmm. happen unless you photograph it and put <laughs> it on the Instagram. the Snyders will wear costumes for Thanksgiving. But yeah. why not? I love it. Making memories. Making memories, everybody. We are so grateful for you. Of course we are. Thank you for listening. And we'll see you next time. Y'all have a super great day.